The former top prosecutor in Colorado's largest judicial district is weighing in on the dismissal of charges against Barry Morphew. Former District Attorney Dan May saying the prosecution's move today was a surprise, especially at this 11th hour, nine days before Morphew was set to be on trial for his wife's murder. It was a surprise to me that they dismissed the case today. I think it surprised most of the people in the state. Dan May used to be the fourth judicial district attorney, no stranger to overseeing criminal cases. But today's dismissal, he feels, was an admission. If they went to trial now, it looks like they would probably find not guilty because there just isn't any evidence to present. The judge's previous orders had pretty much gutted their case. It was last month. The judge overseeing the Morphew case ruled that 12 out of 14 expert witnesses for the prosecution could not testify. It isn't just the 12, it's who the 12 are. Um, you know, when you're tracking his car, when you're tracking his directions, you're tracking where he's going around the state, and now you can't present that to the jury. Uh, the DNA is taken away, and so the defense maybe can put on DNA, and you're limited on what you can do for DNA. Uh, we did a deal with the devil. One of the last cases for May was the trial and conviction of Patrick Frazee, who was found guilty of killing Kelsey Barrett. Another case that had to be proved without the discovery of a body. Another case that relied heavily on circumstantial evidence and a star witness. Because the prosecution was left with little in the Morphew case, May says he's surprised that prosecutors didn't file an appeal with the Colorado Supreme Court that would have called into question the judge's ousting of the expert witnesses. But we never saw that. Instead, we saw kind of surprisingly a dismissal. It is a major chore to get all your discovery in. Um, it's very difficult when you're a small office. I thought they had a pretty good chance at a, an appeal here. But now the opportunity to file an appeal has passed and with it, the chances of calling those expert witnesses to testify if there is a refiling of charges. The 11th Judicial District Attorney, Linda Stanley, wrote that her office believes Suzanne's body is buried under five feet of snow and weather has complicated the efforts to search for it.